In 2023, Tesla needs to sell 500,000 to 900,000 more vehicles than they did in 2022. Now that is a huge challenge. This is Randy Kirk, and if this kind of content is valuable to you, you know what to do. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit notify. Now, the notify thing, please look in the uh, information below, and you'll see down there I'm listing the shows going out for several days in advance. Take a look at those shows, and if that looks interesting to you, you might want to hit the notify button so you'll be made aware of the timing when those shows do pop out. Then finally, you might want to join Patreon because it you know, it costs money to run this show and I would appreciate the support. It's the Patreon membership start at $5 and, or you could do 10. Either way is great. Okay, let's get into the meat of this subject. Assuming you take the minimum number suggested by Tesla of 1.8 million cars delivered in 2023, you'll need to, they will need to sell 500,000 more cars than they did just a year ago. That represents the entire production of 2020. And in the United States, that would be about 250,000 more cars just in the United States compared to the 307,000 that they sold last year. That's a pretty big increase. Of course, I'm saying personally that unless they really hit the brakes on production, they will make and therefore need to ship 2.2 million vehicles. That means shipping 900,000 additional cars this year, almost all of which will be model wise. That is about Tesla's total shipments of all of 2021 and about the total sales of the top four or five selling cars and pickup trucks in the world. So top selling cars and pickup trucks are around a million units. And we're talking about selling 900,000 additional model wise in 2022 alone. Tesla is already selling more cars in 2023 than they did in 22. If they had a demand problem, they would probably be selling less. This is fake news headline number one. Tesla has a demand problem? Nonsense. Here's what Tesla is de dealing with. Not a demand problem. Just hear me out. Tesla needs to sell about 50% more cars every year through 2029 to reach the st stated goal of 20 million. They say 2030, but at 50% per year, they make it easily in 2029, even before. Now, I've said in other videos that the 50% per year gets really hard when you get to 27, 28, 29, and 30. Uh, there'll be huge demand, but even increasing production by 50% at those levels becomes a hard thing. So maybe they only increase by 30% in 28, 30% or 35% in 29. I think that'll be okay. They'll still get to the 20 million. Or who knows, it may take them a year extra. Maybe they only sell 17 million in 2030. Uh, I think that would be okay too. And maybe they sell more and, and they haven't even talked about how many they think they'll sell in 2031. It's Those things are all too far out there to really know. Now, in order to get to those numbers or even close, you need to have the production in place. And this is where every other car maker, with the exception of BYD, is missing the future. Tesla intends to have factory capacity of 20 million cars in 2030. And if you listen to my video that I just did, the very last video I did, I lay out how they're gonna get there in terms of factory by factory. So they need to do whatever's necessary to achieve those sales. They'll get their production. I believe, I think you believe they'll get their production done, but they need to get the sales, which means that they have to address the entire TAM, right? They will not, of course, be going for every single little niche. They're not going to care about that. They've even said the Roadster is kind of like for fun. It's, they don't even care about it. It's not, not important. Okay, they're going to be looking for the hitting all of the major car categories. Now, of course, to do that, you have to get down to the mass, the really mass market. You have to move down market to the twenty to thirty thousand dollar vehicles. Now, how do you do that? You move down market. But wait, in order to move down market, you need to be in that twenty dollars to $30,000 range. And they're not going to be there until late 2024 or maybe into 2025 for actual real quantities. So how do you go down market between then and now? Okay, 
you drop your prices, assuming that you have the margins. And we'll be learning more and more about that all this year with each earnings report. We're going to learn more and more about really just how good those margins were that's been allowing them to drop prices and drop prices. We may also see that as demand improves, demand increases, you start to see those prices go back up again. So the prices drop. But they do they drop to crazy levels? No, they drop to levels last seen all the way back in uh, 2019 when the cars were first ramping and Tesla was just about to start making massive profits. But what do we know that's happened since 2019? We know commodity prices went crazy up and then they came back down. We also know that battery prices are dropping probably precipitously with CATL not even being able to keep full capacity going at their facilities. I think last I heard, they're running at 60% capacity and renegotiated their prices with every auto company that they were selling to. So we also know that the Tesla has come up with methodologies at each of their plants um, to make cars faster, better, less expensively in terms of eliminating processes, procedures, and creating entirely new manufacturing methods that they've even explained to us are dropping the prices of labor and every other aspect of the of the job. All right, what about margins? Won't this uh, destroy the, the Tesla profit story? Well, so what is the profit line on the P&L that matters? Margins of one division are the overall margins after overhead. That is the so-called operating margin, and then that is the one that creates corporate value. Don't let anybody tell you different. Now, if a company like Tesla is 99% of the profits are coming from one division, then yeah, you're going to be wanting to look at that one division only. But that's no longer the case with Tesla. And as we'll see, quarter after quarter after quarter, the energy component is going to continue to grow. Likely, um, the, the robo-taxi thing is going to come in. And of course, I believe the robots are going to come in. So you're really going to want to concentrate on the overall operating margin in order to determine how is Tesla managing their business and Therefore, what is the is the stock worth? So for the car division, Tesla is going to be using strict, for, actually for all their division, Tesla will be using strategic pricing to sell every car it can make, thus ramping up production every year at about 50% per year, average over years, starting in 2020. And in normal years, they may make margins that have analysts shaking their heads like 20% or 30 or 32 and then on other years and periods like 2023 might turn out to be, the analysts will say, well, you know what? They only did 18%, which is only three or four times better than the other car companies out there. <laughs> so they'll have to uh, maybe hit normal. Would they ever have to hit normal automobile industry margins in order to sell all the cars that they can make? Maybe, but I doubt it. I think it's going to be going the other way. All right. Now, the icing on the cake. The revenues don't stop with the sale of the hardware. That's just the beginning. Now you can add in the insurance. You can add in the charging revenues from the superchargers. You can throw in the SAAS, the software as a service products that'll be on the computer. Then there's the used car business. And then there's the leasing profits. And then there's the service center profits. And then finally, the biggest and juiciest profit center of all is FSD and RoboTaxi. The FSD and Robotax, Robotaxi alone, according to Kathy Wood and others, will make Tesla into a two trillion market cap. So with all of that said, in a nutshell, build the factories and the capacity as fast as possible, move all the cars that you can make, maximize the margins when possible, but always selling out, which means reducing margins at some times. Then make a huge pile of money after the sale this is this is a this is the story this is the mission this is where tesla is going and uh, if this content has helped you at all please hit the like button and and then subscribe uh we'd love to have you look down below at some of the shows that are coming up and then if you like what you see you might want to hit the notify so that you can be made aware when those do come out and then finally, join my Patreon. That'd be wonderful. This has been great talking to you today. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.